I missed them, huh? That's what matters, you know? <laughs> Out shedded the shed master. Let's see a set. Just laying there together? Yeah. Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with my girlfriend Bridget. Here she is. Hi. In her glory. And then <laughs> my buddy Martin and his dog tracker device. Hi. There he is. He said he's got uh, one shed too. So we've got three deer sheds already and we just started. That's good. We're just going to keep hiking up. Awesome. Look for deer. Possibility of elk. We're fairly low in the desert, but we're going to try to get up to where we think some bulls might be hanging out this year. The way it's been going these last couple days, it's been tough, but we're going to give it a try. No matter what. We're not skunked, huh? Let's see your beast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nice little deer pocket there, huh? A little forky dude, you know? Tracker, come here. This was the zone, like, oh, five years ago. Yeah. There he is, two years of the same buck. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Well, another chalk deer antler. Whew, this thing is ancient. It's been there for a long time. Down here in this red sand, red rocks. Let's leave it right there. Whew! Finally walking through this desert. Just paid off with a big white elk shed. Let me show you. I just picked up that chalk deer shed. Came over the ridge and spotted this. Something's going on on the unders. It's got extra devil tines or something. <laughs> yes, how cool. Nice. It's a good solid horn, hard white. And it's got a goofy pedicle. Yeah, just what we were hoping to do is get up in here and get into some elk. His, his base is all goofy. All right. Oh man, that makes me happy. But what's cool is the base on him. That thing is goofy. The other side's got to be right here close and it's really not that old. You can even see the old elk tracks in the mud there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get the pickup. Bridget's gonna do the honor of the camera woman. Yeah. Still solid and dense. He has a really cool shape. What's goofy is the burr. Look He's got a cool it's, shape. It's just goofy. Yeah. So the other side, when I've seen them like this, typically one side will be goofy and the other side will be just normal. But that's a good sign because that's honestly, last year. Last year's maybe the year before, but I think it's last year's hard white. Still got velvet. Must be a lowland resident desert bull. That's sweet. Nice Let's job. go find the match. Well, I decided to leave that shed back there just because we got a long walk to go and I could. I'll snag it on the way back. We're looking for the match, you know, coming this way, but we're gonna have to do some work on the way back to try to match it up if we if we don't match them up on this side. But yeah, that was a cool bull. Felt good to spot a big white like that, and uh, just know that we're in elk elk country now. All right, I just spotted a deer antler, but the dang thing is the color of the dirt. Kind of cool though. Oh, wow. Like it got all chalky and then absorbed all the sand and mud. Well, cool buck. Yeah, too, cool. too bad we're not finding anything newer than this. But isn't that crazy how how much it blends in with the dirt? Living down here in the low desert. Doubt there's as many deer as there used to be, but we're still finding their sheds. Well, struggling to find any fresh sign, but I do love seeing rubs like this when I'm trying to find a shed spot. So, clearly, some bulls in here with antlers just need to find where they go to shed. No fresh tracks yet, though. Surprisingly. Another rub. Looks like they've been working on this area. You can see these old tracks. Hmm. Well over three hours, probably close to 
seven miles now. Just trying to find the pockets. Not finding. We'll keep looking though. I'm feeling really good. It's getting better and better. Even these old droppings, some old tracks in the snow, rubs. That's good. Wow, that's a good one. Holy smokes, heck yeah. That's a good one. Look at that. Holy cow, babe. I'll take it off. The base of that thing is gigantic. It's a really good shed. I was really Heck excited. yeah, that makes it worth it, right? Yeah. It's wait till you feel how heavy it is, no joke. Like like pounded heavy. Wow, holy smokes. That's about as pretty as they get for an inline typical. Yeah, I was there's just so much. You were on the radio, right, when you found it, yeah, too, huh? Feel them, feel high. Holy cow, babe. <laughs> we need to find the other side of that. Right? Whew. Look at the base. <laughs> so when it, I walked up on it, you can see where it was buried. So yeah. I thought it was a six point, just with a split. <laughs> And then I picked it up and it was stuck and I was like, what the heck? And I wiggled it and I saw that it had like, like five more inches on there. I was like, hell yeah. Yeah, that, that is what's up right there. I cannot believe the burr on that thing. Yeah. Well, look how cool his fronts are too. They're pretty nice. Yeah, that one that kind of straight. Yeah. Dang. Well, it's official. All three of us have found an elk shed. I didn't get to see what Martin's looked like. But I doubt it's this good, cause that's that's a slammer. I don't know. Did he say that's about as? I mean, that it's about as good as they get right there. Ask him. He got a left, so I was like, and we found him at like the same time, mm -hmm. and he was just that way of me. Yeah. But who knows? Wow. It'd be fun to get the match. All right, Martin just returned. Let's see what we got. It could be. I think it is. The same. And I think that's the uh, the bull I found, dude. It has to be. These guys found their sheds like super close. And sure we're thinking it's the same, yeah, same back end. Holy cow. Dude, this has got to be the bull I just picked up. Yeah, look at that gnarly. You don't find them like that. It has to be. Yeah. Which that means we have another big side to go find. Look at that cool hell. Uh huh. Like, that's it's my, almost like that's a, a double same bull. It's like a double pedicle almost. But mine actually grew a front and her front is flat. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a set. That's a cool bull. Heck yeah. Look, his second almost grew exactly identical to this one's first. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right there. Dang, that's so sweet. Let's get him out here. Yes. That has to be the bull I just picked up. That's why we don't we're not finding any there's just one at one elk He's, in here. Well every track we see we're like just seems to be a, a solo bull, like a loner bull. What a cool bull man. Nice. His burrs are huge. Yeah. Both of them. Big old heavy and cave. Yeah, they're both concave. Throw yours up. Look at the size of that. Holy crap. Dang, that's legit. Yeah, I don't think we were very far because <laughs> I don't think so. I either. found mine, and then right as I was taking pics of it, like ATL pics, then you radioed, and you're like, I just found a big one. And maybe like 20 minutes later, I cut your track. Just a little below me. All right, Bridget with a pickup. This one's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to retry that. <laughs> Where should I hold it? You need to hold it right yeah, at the third. Yeah, pass it. Oh. Got it? <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Alright, babe. I beat it. <laughs> Dang, Dude, that cool bull's bull. big. When you said 320, I'm like... I said 325. <laughs> <laughs> he's bigger than that. Well, I mean, minus your, G, minus your G1, you're hurting, but he's bigger he's than 325. He was he way wide. About, probably sat like that. Nice work, guys. We gotta find your... I know, let's go find the match to mine now. All right, we did all the photos, but I'm telling you guys, this has to be the bull that I picked up this morning. You don't see them like that very often. So we're gonna go try to find the match to mine. But I'm guessing if this is two years old and mine's last year, my side's not this big on the back end, but it does have a little longer G1. Just made it back to my shed. You can see Martin. He's gonna be eagle eyes for me. 
walking the rim, looking down, trying to find the other side of this. I can't imagine it's too far away. I'm hoping it's close because I would love to have the uh, two years off this thing. So with the help of Martin and Bridget, hopefully we can find it. I guess that answers our question. It's him. Is it our bull? Is it our bull? There's no way. It's our bull, dude. Is, is He's it? the only bull up here. Holy oh, crap. Wow, look at the pet. Look at the burr. He is gone. Going on with it has dude. to be. Look at this, Martin. It has to be. He's just like regressed. That is the old, old bull, man. Look at his teeth. Holy cow. You have you to be kidding me. That much? I don't know. That's a lot. I'm with you. That is pretty funky. Like it's not exactly like the ones we found, but I mean, his pedicle does have that little pinky lip on it right there. What are the odds? That's crazy. Just Whoa. in this little pocket. Look how fat he is there. I know. He's like a balloon. I'm yeah, telling you, man, that thing's old. Look at, look at the size of the base, and then look at that balloon thing. Yeah. And it's all still velvet, like he didn't he rub. Like... He's so cool. Yeah. Jeez. Well, here's the thing. Look how willowy the main beam has come. How well, his pedicle think... is weird. How long do you think that's been dead for? Hmm. Well, Maybe the velvet no throws me it. off, so. It... But I think the velvet is not an act, is not proof that he died then. I just don't think he very, he rubbed very much because he's old. So what do you think? Brought all, like, picked at it. I'm with you, like, fall. All right, guys, we had to do this. This is blowing my mind because it's earlier, so cool. I was like, what are the odds that the only three sheds that we found are all off the same bull? And what are the odds that we all took a perfect line to each find one? Yeah. And we come over this ridge and I say to Martin, doesn't this look perfect or what? He goes, yeah, it looks good. Hey, is that a dead elk? And I saw the rib cage first. And honestly, I did not think it was with my eyeballs. Pulled up my body yeah. and I was, I was like, you got to be kidding me. And as soon as I came up here, I was like, what are the odds that it's got a left goofy pedicle? And I'm not kidding you guys. If you look closely right there. You can see it's got the same shape as this one, and then this one, and then Bridget put hers up to it, and it's got a very similar G1. But look at the shape of the, the burr. Same shape. It's got this dished out piece right here. It's got the dished out piece on that one, and it's just... And look at the shape. Yeah, I mean, this thing has just shrunk, though. It's so old and unhealthy. Didn't even rub its velvet off. And the thing is just miniature now. So we're thinking that the set that Bridget and Martin picked up are the oldest. And then this, yeah, so he was good actually. And then my year is a little, one year newer, we're guessing. And this is when he started to at least go downhill because look at the size of Martin's versus mine. This is mine I'm holding. So yeah, pretty wild, man. I was just sitting there. I cannot believe we found one elk in this whole entire area and we did 16 miles today. <laughs> Right at the end, too. <laughs> so, look at the balloon on that thing. That is nice. He always had, like, that you know, a heavy so part cool right there. here and a heavy part right there, but then it's just, like, ballooned. Pretty freaky, but, yeah, he's dead. We'll have to drop a pin here. Martin will... <laughs> I don't know. You going to turn I him might, in? I might leave him. Dude, you got to get life, that man. one. Yeah, that's true. Untouched. No one even knew about him. Yeah, I guarantee this thing is would die if you saw a person. Probably wouldn't <laughs> yeah. even know, you know? Yeah, we, from what we can tell, it's the, there's, every time we'd come across the track, literally no joke, every time we'd come across a track, we're like, man, it's just like there's loner bull out here, or loner bulls. We didn't know, you just see a track going this way, one track going that way, but it was never like a group of tracks. Yeah. There's always one. This guy's just been roaming out here. Yeah, dude, he was, and his the bed and just died because look at how his leg is just it's tucked up yeah like that. yeah i'm yeah. sure you're right man like something like that Big just freaking literally you know, died of, of old stuff. age yeah look at the hooves oh, remember all the giant tracks we've been seeing yeah look at the hoof like that is yeah. giant 
But yeah, this guy rolled the mountain around here. And we have most of his antlers. It's crazy. Now it makes me want to go find them even worse. <laughs> find that other side at least. Yeah, well, it's getting dark and we got a couple miles. So we're going to get some pictures and head out of here. But I thought you guys would enjoy that. It's crazy. All right, guys, it's getting dark. I want to end this video real quick and just say thanks to my buddy Martin and my girlfriend Bridget for a great day looking for elk sheds and deer sheds. That was a good day. Thanks, Tracker, for leading the way. I can't believe how much energy that dog still has. On Onyx map, I think we've logged 16 miles. Let me look. We'll make this official. So Onyx, we've had, I've had my track on all day. 10 and a half hours of hiking, 15.49 miles, and we probably have half a mile to go. So it's gonna be 16 miles today, yeah. round trip. We have three sheds to show for it. That dead head that, you know, hopefully DWR will help get it back to us we'll see that was a beast of a hike that was no joke yeah i'm dead hopefully we can get back and get some food we'll try it what do you think babe you happy yeah <laughs> half a mile we can go get some food but anyways wanted to say thanks guys go check out these two's channel bridget and martin they have their own channel i could put a link in the description box for you and also uh if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button Always doing deer hunting, elk hunting, shed hunting, outdoor cooking, fishing, all kinds of outdoor activity videos. So uh, thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.